What is earthquake resistant confined masonry work for construction? Over the past 30 years, hundreds of thousands of people all around the globe have been needlessly killed by the collapse of their own homes during earthquakes. Typically, concrete frame building with masonry infills perform very poorly when subjected to strong ground shaking as do buildings of unreinforced brick masonry. If not designed and built well, an alternative technology using the same construction materials is confined masonry construction. Confined masonry is construction system where the masonry walls are built first and the concrete columns and beams are poured in afterwards to enclose confined the wall. It has typically performed well in past earthquakes worldwide when built according to code requirements. Its satisfactory earthquake performance is due to the joint action of masonry walls and their confining elements. The structural components of confined masonry buildings or masonry walls transmit the gravity load from the slab above down to the foundation. The walls act as bracing panels which resist horizontal earthquake forces. Confining elements provide resistance to masonry walls and protect them from complete disintegration even in major earthquakes. These elements resist gravity loads and have important role in ensuring vertical stability of a building in earthquake. Floor and roof slabs transmit both gravity and lateral loads to the walls. In an earthquake, slabs behave like horizontal beams and are called diaphragms. Plinth band transmit the load from the walls down to the foundation. It also protects the ground floor walls from excessive settlement in soft soil conditions. Foundation transmit the loads from the structure to the ground. Advantages and drawbacks Confined masonry is a popular construction technology in many countries. It is widely used for the following reasons. It is based on traditional masonry construction practice. It does not require highly qualified labor as is the case with concrete frame construction. Confined masonry technology falls in between that of unreinforced masonry and RC reinforcement. It is more cost effective than concrete construction. It has a broad range of applications. It can be used for single family houses as well as for medium rise apartments buildings. The following disadvantages are associated with confined masonry construction. Confined masonry construction is more expensive than masonry construction. However, its earthquake performance is significantly better than unreinforced masonry construction. A higher level of labor skills are required than in the case of unreinforced masonry construction. It is characterized by a limited shear strength and ductility when compared with RC frame construction and requires the use of substantial wall destiny in each direction. Confined masonry buildings have performed well in several earthquakes worldwide. This type of construction has a great potential for saving lives and property in areas of high seismic risk. However, like any other construction practice, good earthquake performance is based on the following premises. Use of good quality materials, good quality concrete and masonry construction, simple architectural design. It is expected that this is simple guideline featuring architectural design and construction of confined masonry buildings will be useful to architects, builders and parties involved in the building construction.